In this video, I want to show you some steps that will help you become great at project finance modeling. Step one, the why. Before we proceed on how to become a great project finance modeler, I want you to answer this question. Why do you want to become great at project finance modeling? Give yourself some time to come up with an answer to this question. And then see which of the below answers best matches with your answer. Answer 1. I want to improve my skills in the field of project finance and I know that financial modeling is a big part of it. 2. I enjoy working with financial models and I want to be great at it. 3. Someone told me that financial modeling is a stepping stone to higher positions and although necessary, I wouldn't say I like it, I think I need it. If your motive to learn is close to answer 3, then I'm not sure you can go that far into learning the true work of a financial modeler in a project finance deal. If, however, your answer matches answer number 1 or 2, you are ready to learn because you want to learn. Okay, if you're still here, this means that you are in the category of people who want to learn financial modeling. So, step two is self-education. Write down a plan on how you want to become great in project finance modeling. Define how much time you want to devote to learning about project finance modeling. Give yourself a time frame for self-education before you register for any training program. Step 3. Contact experts. Once you have advanced in your self-education process, find someone who is great in financial modeling or register for a course where you know you will be in touch with people who can help you advance your skills further. You can also check out my blog post on how to get started with project finance modeling and in there I give you some good references and some good people to check out and follow. Step 4. Learn by doing. The fastest way to learn project finance modeling is by being involved in deals as a modeler. Building a financial model from scratch and being involved in the different phases of the project while you're still learning. As I said, this would speed up the learning process by a factor of 10. If you don't have the opportunity to work on a real deal or aren't ready for it, create a case study and start building a model from scratch. Then come up with scenarios for yourself as if you were involved in a real deal and see if your model is flexible enough to accommodate different scenarios. Step five, think beyond Excel modeling. I think this is an important step. As a financial modeler, you have to multitask. You should be able to read contract, understand the commercial aspects of any contract and agreement. You should understand the technical details of a project you are working on. You don't need to know all the details, but you should have a broad perspective on the underlying parameters and risk factors that are the drivers of your revenues in your financial model. You should be comfortable with tax and accounting laws applicable to your project and know where you can get the right information. Know the main actors involved in a project deal and be able to understand their point of view. And finally, as a financial modeler, you are interacting with different stakeholders. So you should improve your communication skills and be a financial modeler who can negotiate contract. Step six, repetition. Every project is unique and you learn as you get involved in more projects and work with different teams. You can become a great financial modeler when you're great at step two to five and keep learning while doing. Here are some other videos to help you in your journey to become better at financial modeling.